Hi guys, welcome back to Amanda Liz Life. I'm just going for a walk today, so I was gonna tell you about some things I'm thinking. This looks so pretty, and they smell pretty nice too. Mmm. I'm going for a walk. Yesterday I did yard work, and it was kind of tough on my body. I am aching today, but earlier I went to my sister's house and she had this little um, hot tub thingy and it was so nice. Me and the baby were in it for a little bit. Um, we had the temperature turned way down low so it didn't cook us both. He had a filled day. I should have got some video of it, but I didn't think of it. Maybe next time when I go again. <sighs> but I feel every muscle and joint is kind of feeling everything today so I might have to take some a leave. While I walk let me tell you about the things I love. I love walking around kind of dusk because it gets all cool. It has a little bit of light but it's not too bright. I don't like too bright. I don't like too hot. So it's my favorite time and I'll show you some stuff on the way. Maybe some pretty flowers, some pretty lights, whatever I see. What a cute gazebo, huh? Oh, and look at the sky, it's like really pretty. Yeah, because it's like all eclectic stuff. I hope they don't mind me. It's very interesting. Lots of pretty flowers and stuff. But this thing is pretty cool too, the well. I think there's some water back there. It's really nice though, it's like, oh, I scared a bird. Oh, it scared me too. So, just showing you random things right now. <laughs> But I was actually wanted to tell you guys about some things I've been thinking. Um, I've been thinking of going back to school. Uh, I was thinking a long time about what I would go to school for. And I, I'm pretty sure I know what I want to go to school for. But we had been still talking about um, going for nursing. And going for graphic design. Real estate. There was a few things that were like key up there for me. But I really think that I might just look into being a sonographer or an ultrasound tech. Oh, you look know. at the pretty flowers. Pretty, pretty flowers. So, I heard a cat. <laughs> so I was thinking about going, oh, there it is. Not see you. You scared me, kitty. Hi. Don't attack me, I'm a little me, afraid. The cat scared me. <laughs> uh, so, um... I think about going to be an ultrasound tech because it was really important to me while I was pregnant. We went through a lot and the miscarriage before um, Riley's birth, it was how it was dealt with was kind of strange in, in some sense. Um, the, a lot of people didn't know when they would come in the room that I was miscarrying so I thought that was kind of crazy that they didn't like tell each other. And also the ultrasound tech didn't say anything at first he just I mean he was quiet the whole time which I kind of understand to a point but at the same time it was like you know that's that and like just get out you know and I just, just no bedside manner at all and I was like well I feel like that might be a little bit better for me if I I have compassion and stuff which it's terrible to say but like that's one of the reasons why I want to do it and another reason is um I have rheumatoid arthritis and if you don't know my story go you know check some stuff out <laughs> but uh if you don't know my story uh. yeah. so the first one did not know and then when i was about nine weeks along with riley i um thought i was miscarrying i was bleeding i was in a lot of pain we don't know why i kind of like this yard is that random i really like this yard the emergency room that we went for him was much different. Everyone knew what was going on. Everybody was compassionate. And then uh, as soon as they knew, the ultrasound tech was amazing. And she talked us through stuff and she um, told us what she was looking for and why. And we'd already been through a miscarriage so, and we thought we were having a miscarriage. So I was kind of prepared for it. And um, even before she, she knew what was going on or anything, she was very compassionate, very kind, very informative, which none of which the first guy was, honestly. And we were even eventually telling her that, how wonderful she was and how awesome. And she's one of the reasons why I really think that I would like to be an ultrasound tech and go study it. It would be very good. Being that I have ultra, um, I have our rheumatoid arthritis, 
Uh, I'm under medication for it and I'm getting it slowly under control, the pain wise, but I still have trouble walking and moving in some sense. And I feel like I need a job that I need to use my brains more than my body. I used to be a nurse's aide for over 10 years and I used my body a lot. I was very strong and capable and now I'm not. <laughs> so a lot of times I feel like I am losing a sense of who I am. I used to be strong, I used to be capable and I get really frustrated and depressed when I can't do the things I used to be able to do. Why am I shooting this bottle? I just cleaned up this space yesterday and there is already trash in it. What is wrong with people? Stop putting your trash and your beer bottles and your things in other people's yards. Thank you. I feel like getting control of my pain is very important to me. So I've been trying very hard to keep up with my doctors to tell them everything that's going on. I'm getting more testing. Uh, they believe I might have celiac disease, uh, fibromyalgia, and some other things along with my rheumatoid arthritis. I really want to go back to school to be able to support myself again. It would be very nice to be able to make a living better than even that I had before when I was a single tin and a nursing aide. Uh, aid. So I've been thinking of just cleaning up my life, minimalizing things around me that are irritating me, including objects and emotional problems, and just doing my best to make my life a little bit more productive. And hopefully with a grant, I can get some help to go to school. Right now, it's been pretty hard the past couple of years, so I don't know if I'll be able to get in, but I'm going to try. All in all, that is my video. I can hear my son crying. I am almost back to the, the trailer. I am hurting a lot. So those are the things on my mind. This was my walk. Thank you for watching. If you watched, please watch more upcoming videos. It's going to be one about my book that I'm writing. And um, another one is going to be a collaboration with a fellow YouTuber who came up with an idea. There are people screaming, so I better get inside. I think there's gonna be cops here because people are fighting. And like I said, I can hear my son yelling. He's with his dad, so he's fine. But, you know, you know how it is. If you have children, you know how it is. Thank you for watching again. Thank you for listening to my stories. And um, encourage me, you know, to keep going with things. That's about it for today. Uh, have a good night. Bye.